All right, welcome back, folks. This is gonna be a quick little video here. We, this is really just to discuss uh, a catfish rig. And uh, after talking to some catfishing experts in RF4, uh, I think there might be a new king among the catfish rigs. And if you're considering getting a catfish rig, there's a new option that you need to consider. Um, so obviously this one we have in our hands right now is the Venga on the Barracuda. And this is not the one I'm talking about. I've had this one for a while. Um, and it's, it's fine. It's actually, you know, it works out good because you may already have a Venga if you've been doing a lot of sturgeon or carp fishing for a long time. And so you can kind of convert that Venga into a catfishing rig just with a Barracuda rod. Uh, this reel I have, I mean, this rig I have on here is the Steelness and Barracuda casting. This is also not the rig I'm talking about, so it's the other one that's still out there. Uh, but this one I sort of created because I already had a Steelness. You know, back in the day we got into bait casting when we hit Volkov and Steelheads all the way. You know what I mean? So we were using the Steelheads, catching all of those salmon, and you're making so much silver felt like back then nothing like what we make now but it felt like that I ended up upgrading one time behind uh, past the steelhead which ended up being the steelness pretty good bait bait casting reel in fact it's got enough like hidden strength in there that it actually doubles as a catfishing uh, reel for our barracuda casting so we're using that but finally uh, this is what we want to talk about and if you can visually know what that is just from looking at it then props to you it is one of the new conventional reels, but let me first mention this. So before this came out, the um, people who know a lot more about going after catfish in this game than I do, a lot of them I think would have agreed that the best value king of the hill entry point into catfishing was the Imperial R600 casting reel and putting that with the Rocket C rod or the Barracuda, but I think there was some preference towards the Rocket C. And that was gonna run you about, the reel is about 9,100, and then the rod is just over five grand silver. So for about 14K, you could get a really nice catfishing rig. Well, the consensus out on the street is, what I'm hearing, this, what I purchased today, and what Wrangler purchased two days ago, or yesterday, this may be the new king of the hill. Now, total cost is going to run you about a thousand more than that. The reel is a thousand more. But let's go ahead and take a look at it. This is the Beluga Taiga C30 of the new conventional reels. It's a light conventional reel. Of the new conventional reels, this has the reputation of being the best value. It runs you about 10K silver, uh, but you're getting all kinds of strength. The downside of this, and this was hard for me to like come to terms with, it took me a while to agree to spend 10K on it, even though this doesn't have a second, like a, you can't switch the lever, right? You can't switch the gear to another, just making sure we didn't have a fish on there. Kind of felt like it for a second. Uh, you know, if you hit control space, you get the gear ratio switch, right? You go from one ratio to another on the gear. Well, this conventional reel, doesn't have that second gear. So that's the only downside of it. The plus side of it, if you pour, pour the, put this with a Zyman rocket, uh, because the Beluga Taiga has so much more spool space than the Imperial R600, uh, that's what makes this, for the price, arguably the new king of the hill. Okay, I'm gonna quit, I'm gonna quit talking, quit, um, uh, blabbing on and on about this. What I'm going to do is I'm going to tell you that very soon I will try to get some more catfishing videos put together. Uh, now that I finally have my third rig, I mean, you can see it's like noon in the day here. We're probably not going to hit a catfish, but um, now that I have my third rig, we're going to start going after catfish. Okay. I want to see if we can't chase down that trophy catfish according to how, you know, as long as the catfish are biting, as long as it seems like they're doing well, we're going to be out here trying to find them, uh, excited to try to tackle the catfish. And um, 
we spent a lot of silver, but we've got our third catfish rig. Um, I was going to save up up to the cardinal level of conventional reel, and that may be something I go for down the, down the road because it does have the gear switch ratio and stuff. But after looking at it, I just felt like, you know what? I love the way this little, this little reel looks, the red and the black, uh, that white line on there. I just think it looks really slick. Uh, I'm pretty excited about it. So I think we made the right decision and uh, hopefully we'll catch some nice cats. Hey, thanks for watching and I will see you next time. Peace out.